What's up everybody? I'm Morgan Crosby. Welcome to Cars and Crosby. It's a beautiful day outside today. I just got a brand new trade-in that I wanted to talk about and I also wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on in the Corvette world. Uh, let's start off with the greatest news that I've heard in a long time. Uh, Corvette production is back and going. I have talked to my sources and they are very confident that everything is going according to plan and that they will also be ramping up to full production in about a month's time. So if you have not already known this, uh, on Tuesday the production started back up. It has only got one shift that will be starting at first. They will be adding a second shift and they're estimating that it'll be about a month until they're back to where they were and producing about a thousand Corvettes a week. So very, very exciting news. I'm ecstatic. I am uh, with an awesome trade-in. Again, I don't like to always uh, toot my own horn when I have a vehicle come in. I wanna make sure that I can pass along some cool things that, that come across. And this, in my opinion, is one of the best examples that you can get of a C7. Uh, it's a 2018 2LT Grand Sport with only 3,700 kilometers, so roughly about 2,000 miles are on it. Uh, this is the definition of a garage queen, and if you've watched my videos before when I'm doing a used car walk around, you'll know that I always, always, always shoot the video the day that they come in. I want you to see the condition of it. I want you to learn about the previous owner, and I also wanted to teach everybody, if they haven't already learned about the Grand Sport, what comes on it. So uh, without further ado, let's start off with just a little brief introduction on what the C7 Grand Sport was. That was where it had the wider body style that you saw on the Z06. The Z06 was released in 2015, and then in 2016, the Grand Sport came out. So it was the non-supercharged version. It had the same body though, and with it, there were a lot of the same performance upgrades as well. So magnetic ride control, which is an awesome feature, became a standard item on the Grand Sport. It also had the ability to have that dry sump system and performance exhaust that you saw on the Z51 as a standard item. And then again, it's about two and a half inches wider. There's a full inch wider tire on these and that gave it that very nice aggressive stance. I've also mentioned in previous videos that the Grand Sport, in my opinion, was the most balanced of the two. It was a traction limited vehicle in the C7. And so by only having the 495 horsepower, or sorry, I'm thinking of my C8, sorry, the 465 horsepower LT1 inside of here, it was perfectly balanced for the weight that it had. It was able to put the power down in a timely manner, um, and it just overall felt very nice and balanced. On the topic of being balanced, it also is a 2LT. And the reason why I say that's a balanced option is because it's the sweet spot in terms of ordering creature comfort items on your Corvette. I'm starting to already see the resale values of the 1LTs in any trim level getting significantly less numbers in resale. And that has to do with all the features that come on a 2LT. On a 2LT, the, the items that you got are curved view cameras, you also got security shades uh, to hide stuff in the back. This is tinted, so it won't be able to show it. You had the Bose premium sound system, memory seats, adjustable uh, steering wheel that was also memorized, the heads up display, garage door opener, motion sensors, and most importantly, you also had the air condition and heated seats. So all those items were included on the 2LT above and beyond the 1LT, and it really does change the experience. I definitely like to have an air conditioned seat going on. And as I've also mentioned in the video where I had the tops off, the center point sound system in here is acoustically gonna change when you have the top off, and it just makes that overall experience even better. So this is a 2LT Grand Sport, which in my opinion is the sweet spot for the C7 generation. And with only having 3,700 kilometers on it, this is definitely a garage queen. Every single panel on this entire Corvette has been coated in a PPF film. I just did a video on PPF and this vehicle actually was um, a vehicle that came out of the same shop, but they went above and beyond on doing the PPF on this. Every single piece of this has got paint protection on it. So this would be, uh, in my opinion, the best example of a garage queen. You all know that they have some PPF that comes in this little area, but they've obviously taken that off and wrapped it on every single component. So there's easily five to $6,000 just in paint protection products on this vehicle, which is really awesome to see that there are some vehicles out there. If you're not in the budget or you can't wait for a C8 that you can snatch up uh, as the conditions of these are 
are um, all over the map. You know, you have no idea what the previous owner did, but with it only having 3,700 kilometers on it, I want you to know that if you're not in my region, um, there is still faith that there are some vehicles out there that may have um, this kind of condition on them if you're not looking at a C8. So I hope that helps you guys out in learning a little bit more about the Grand Sport. If you are waiting for a C8, great news. We do have production back and running. Hopefully there is no other shutdowns or meteor showers or asteroids that happen that, that stop it again. Uh, we've already had two uh, delays. I, I'd hate to see a third one. Um, but I, as I always do with all my clients, if you have a salesperson that's trying to tell you a specific date, on when your C8 is coming. Take that with a grain of sand, be mature, know that there is a lot of things going on within General Motors that are, are needing to be done to get your vehicle built. And um, that maybe it, it may take a little bit longer than even your salesman says. I always try to say a very conservative timeline, but given the nature of how many things have happened recently, it's very difficult for me to be able to tell you exactly when that may be. And I know that's a difficult thing if you're trying to arrange finances or you're just trying to enjoy a beautiful day like today uh, but have faith that you have an amazing product that's coming your way and if you didn't want to wait I have awesome vehicles like this that are lightly used that are waiting for a new owner to try out so thanks a lot guys have a great day and happy motoring